Some will say they are even better than the bad boys but differently, and there's no doubt that Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum made our lives fun with the both hilarious movies 21 Jump Street and the sequel 22 Jump Street. But now it's been almost a decade since the second movie was released, and in light of rumors and back and forth discussions, will 23 Jump Street ever happen? Well, stay with us and find out. Not so slim shady, what's up? Holy shit! I haven't seen you since high school. How you bitches like Jump Street now? Hey, I got a big ass. But first, let's make a quick recap of what happened when we last saw these two guys together in action. The satirical buddy cop action movie first hit the theaters in 2012 when Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, as directors, released the epic comedy hit 21 Jump Street. The huge success resulted in a sequel in 2014 that managed to achieve even better revenue and better ratings, which is not something that we're used to when it's up to sequels. Hill and Tatum are back as the super funny Schmidt and Jenko, two men in their late 20s who are police officers on an undercover mission as teenagers in high school to find out the drug dealers. The first movie was based on the 1980s TV show with Johnny Depp in the leading roles. In the second movie, Schmidt and Jenko must go into deep poses as undergrads. Their superior officer, Deputy Chief Hardy, will give them the assignment to locate the supplier of a new synthetic drug known as Wi-Fi that killed a student. And when Schmidt and Jenko report for duty, they'll find out that their commander is once again Captain Dixon, played by Ice Cube, who's just as scornful of his team, but he's now thrilled that their new base is now kitted out with various flashy furnishings. You're ready for a lifetime of being badass motherfuckers. Oh, I am. I suppose that there aren't any of you who still haven't seen the movie, so I won't spend much more time retelling you the whole story as there's plenty of information about what could follow next. I'll only tell you that the movie managed to gross over $331 million worldwide with a budget of $50 to $84 million. It has a 7 rating on IMDb and 77% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Besides the leading duo, the movie brought on the big screen many other interesting cast members like Nick Offerman as Chief Hardy, Peter Stormare as the leader of the drug leaders, The Ghost, and Wyatt Russell as Zook. No fucking way. If we could take them down, we'd be off part duty for sure. You guys even real cops who look like kids on Halloween. Hey! Hot plate. Beanbag chair. Now, do you remember how the second movie finished? Or more precisely, do you remember the interesting end credits where Hill and Tatum's characters are seen being a part of many other fictional sequels like 24 Jump Street, Foreign Exchange Students, or 25 Jump Street, A Semester at Sea, or even 26 Jump Street, Art School? But as I said before, nothing has happened in the last eight years so far, so will another sequel ever happen? According to CBR, Q Mars Mutab, you should hit that like button below the video right now. No, really, Mutab reported that he'll direct 23 Jump Street and he'll be accompanied by Michael Bacall, who'll write the script, and Mark Morsebra, who'll be in charge of the music. Even though the expectations were that the movie will come in 2023, nothing specifically is happening and the shooting is still very far from starting. As things stand right now, we can say that we can see Jenko and Schmidt do it together again in 2024 at the earliest, or we could see something else in the franchise instead. Keep watching and find out. Hail the conquering heroes. We got our first bust. Yes! yes! You forgot to read him his Miranda rights. It works. We need an expert to consult. I heard someone's bringing a shit ton of that stuff down to Puerto. We can easily say that both movies are one of the best in Tatum and Hill's movie careers, and not only because the films were so successful, but also because these two started their friendship during these comedies. Both films have a very special place in their hearts, so probably the third one in the series is one of their priorities. So nobody can imagine another Jump Street movie without this duo, and according to CBR, Q Mars Mutab, they'll reprise their roles no matter when the next film happens. Also, his information says that Ice Cube will be back as Captain Dixon, and the biggest news is that Brad Pitt is joining the cast as Dr. Johnny Walker. This could be something we can believe in, as Tatum and Pitt already played together in the box office hit The Lost City. But this is one of the versions that is circulating around at this point. The other one says that there will be 24 Jump Street instead of 23. Fans find out this information when co-writer and co-director of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Rodney Rothman, in July 2021 for Hollywood Reporter, revealed that he's assigned to write the script for this movie. When he was asked why they changed the title, Rothman said, It's taken us so long to pull together, we decided to skip over 23 Jump Street and pick up the story one movie later. In Spider-Verse, Rothman already worked together with the co-director of Jump Street, Phil Lord, so this could be a perfect duo for another buddy cop comedy. However, a title like this will probably won't bring back both Hill and Tatum. If we take a look backward, we'll find out that Variety already reported in 2015 that a Jump Street spin-off movie is in the works. We're reviving a cancelled undercover police program from the 80s. You idiots are officially transferred. Spring break, motherfucker. 
They described this as a female-driven one, and later in 2018, Collider was writing, referring to anonymous sources, that this movie won't be a spin-off but a sequel. They mentioned Tiffany Haddish, who was supposed to play a role as an undercover high school teacher, and the speculation saga continued production weekly in 2019 when they reported that Zendaya will play alongside Haddish in the movie. And finally, more precise information came in 2020 when Deadline reported that the new Jump Street movie will have the title Now For Her Pleasure. There's even a rumor that 24 Jump Street will likely bring Zendaya and Haddish as leading roles and Hill and Tatum as co-leads, which of course will be an interesting combination. You are here because you some Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus looking motherfuckers. Everybody know everybody. What are they, vato? And my partner, he want to see that product. So I know this could sound very confusing right now, but the good thing is that something's actually cooking right now. Of course, all of this information and speculations have yet to be detailed and developed, and this is not even all when we speak about the theories about the new Jump Street movie. I already told you about Rothman's plans for skipping over 23 Jump Street, but it seems that Phil Lord has different plans. About the decision to make 24 Jump Street first, Lord spoke to We Live Entertainment and said smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video. Just kidding, what Lord said is, we're reserving 23 Jump Street, so we can conclude that he's implying that it would be paradoxical if 23 Jump Street ended up as the fourth film in the franchise. And what kind of story could the next movie bring? Well, this is the hardest question right now since we don't know which of the previously mentioned theories will become true. The movie is still likely in its early development phase, so it would be very unserious to speculate. In fact, if you are wondering why almost a decade of waiting passed by, this is because 23 Jump Street was planned to be a crossover with the Men in Black franchise, but this idea was later abandoned as it was calculated to be a tough one to sell. There's a new synthetic drug at Sagan High. The mission is find a supplier. I think the dealers are the popular kids. We should have a party. I'm your worst nightmare. Go, go! Jonah Hill on one occasion was asked about the possibilities for another film and the actor said they think they want another Jump Street but they don't. It would just be me and Channing talking about his hip, my shoulder and the medications that we're on. Of course, it was a very different world for both actors when the first movie came by. Since then, Hill was two-time nominated for an Oscar and Tatum reached the sky in his career when Magic Mike was released just a couple of months after the hit comedy. No matter which option will be chosen for the next Jump Street movie, there's no doubt that fans will remain impatient. But, you know what they say, good things happen to those who wait, so let's hope we won't wait too much longer. Thanks for watching and see you next time.